Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, The Wealthy Mindset. It's yours truly, Money Making Mitch. And as usual guys, this is not financial advice. Please do your own due diligence and research, even though I feel like it's becoming financial advice <laughs> because we're right all the time. As the great Ray Dalio said, when good things happen, it also happen in bunches. Why is Mitch wearing the party hat? You guys know when I take out the hat, it's dynamite. What is about to happen? <laughs> Let's start with this. Neo is trading at $8.87, 46 cents up this morning. The 52 week low as we know is $7. The 52 week high was $16.18. As a disclaimer, I have 2,260 shares at $3.53 and on so far I hold 478 shares at $8.71. We're about to become wealthy. Let me say that again. We are about to become wealthy. When Bloomberg, when Yahoo Finance, when and at MSNBC, and all the other fake news media outlet were telling you to buy high and sell low. I were telling you buy low and sell high. When they were saying that Neo was cash burning and wasting money, I told you guys they were putting the money to use to grow the company. What has just happened to excite me to the point where I had to take out the party hat? I'll tell you what, Neo expected to launch Alps sub-brand in first quarter of next year. I don't need to say no more in this video. <laughs> We're about to make the bread and I told you guys next year is our year. The, in the Chinese calendar it says next year is the year of the dragon. I said no, it's the year of Neo Lions. We're getting ready to feed. And that fictitious kid that I told you were about to jump off the bridge, some of one of the shorts said, oh, that was not funny because he's one of those kids. We have to be careful. We have to man the bridges and make sure they don't jump. Competition is fierce at the moment and the timing of Neo's second brand entry into the market is important. King William Lee said on December 24th, Neo sub-brand codename Alps is expected to launch in the first quarter of 2024. And remember I was telling you guys King William Lee said that we used to look at things in terms of a five-year timeline. Now we're looking at it in terms of a two-year timeline. And when we got the first billion dollars from the Abu Dhabi government, I said some of it and they said it, it was going to speed up um, Alps. And I also told you guys that the money we got again recently was to speed up Firefly, which they did. But I didn't even realize it was going to be the first quarter. I said I was hoping it's the first quarter and by the first half and I was right. You guys got to give me some credit again. Tencent News said in a report today citing a person familiar with the matter. And again, they're mentioning Tencent News. Remember Tencent News is a news station that covered King William Lee driving, testing that 150 kilowatt hour semi-solid state battery. It's the same news station that's covering this. The electric vehicle maker, which unveiled its executive flagship sedan ET9 at the Neo Day 2023 event on December 23rd, didn't reveal any planned timeline for the launch of its two sub-brands. We didn't re remember we talked about that guys. During Neo Day, some people were, um, even I was a little bit disheartened in the beginning, like why aren't they talking about Alps and, and Firefly? And one of my subscribers, he's from New York, I can't think of his name. He was looking at the live stream as well and he commented saying, hey guys, remember this is not for investors, this is for the consumers, people buying the products. And he was absolutely right. Neo is also working on a sub-brand internally codenamed Firefly. In addition to Alps, the Alps brand is expected to target the $200,000 to $20,000 US market, while Firefly is expected to aim for R&B $200,000 or less, or less. So with this, not only can we flood Europe, we can flood all of Asia, even India. India has over a billion population, guys. <laughs> competition is currently fierce and I believe Firefly will be sped up as well guy to the early part of, of the second half of next year 
Competition is currently fierce and the timing of Neo's second brand entering the market is very important, William Lee, the company founder, chairman and CEO said in a December 24th interview with media, ex including CNEV posts in Shenzhen province, Northwest China. So remember the media is getting all of this. This is free advertisement for us guys. Neo didn't make earlier market entry for the mass market oriented sub brand a high priority when it set its strategy several years ago. As usual, what these companies do just like Tesla did in the beginning, we put out high, high end. Well, we put out the, <laughs> the most dynamic EV that set the benchmark to bring brand awareness. You know, people see it, oh my God. So they see what we're capable of producing. Then we flood the market with it cheaper EVs. We have to be bold in some things like NEO's technological innovations. But in some things we need to be to dare to be latecomer, such as entering the mass market, which is dominated by family cars, King William Lee said. NEO confirmed in August 2021 that it would enter a mass market through sub-brands and in subsequent communications said it had two sub-brands with internal codenames Alps and Firefly, which we know. On August 29, Lee said during an analyst call after NEO announced its second quarter earnings that Alps model development was going very well with the first pilot test vehicle off the line and a second model already in development and remember when they said that guys i said i feel this is going to come earlier than the second half i hope you guys give me credit for this i did say that because if it's already off the line and in testing and we're speeding up the process i knew it was coming guys alps model development is based on a different philosophy than the neo brand and will be more focused on the family scenario Lee said at the time, adding that the brand would not have many models and will be more focused on the sales of each model. So Alps is the code name, but there's going to be a couple different models of this cheap sub brand and then a couple different models of the Firefly. Yummy, yummy, yummy for the tummy. On September 14th, local media outlet Late Post reported that Alps will be aimed at the market price around 200,000 RMB with a team that already numbers more than 800 people and that the first vehicle was scheduled to be mass produced and began deliveries in the second half, but we just sped it up to the first quarter. What does that mean? Let me tell you guys the significance of that. Tesla was speeding up to try to beat us with this at this price range. We got them. We're going to, do you know what that's gonna mean for Tesla shares, guys? Do you know what that's gonna mean for the Model 3? they're gonna lose even more market share. They all have already been losing market share to BYD. BYD has already passed them in the fourth quarter and next year is going to pass them even more. And now with us, with the Alps, I would be very scared if I had shares of Tesla right now. I am speaking facts. They are, BYD went past them in China. What do you think will happen when we flood Europe and China with this Firefly and Alps. You do the math. On December 5th, Lee said in a call after Neo announced its third quarter earnings that Alps completed trial production of its validation build prototypes and there's still plenty of time to optimize and improve it. <laughs> well, we don't need that time anymore, guys. In addition to Alps, Neo seemed to be moving forward with the Firefly project in parallel, in parallel not behind in parallel. Remember I said with that money we got, we're speeding up the process. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So we're not probably looking at the third quarter of next year for Firefly. We probably, like I said, looking at the early second half, maybe by the end of the first half because it's in parallel. Listen to the word. In addition to Alps, Neo seemed to be moving forward with the Firefly project in parallel. Yummy, yummy for the tummy. That sexy guy, Benjamin Franklin, is coming our way. I don't know if I want to share him with you, but I would have no choice. Neo has set up a part subsidiary in Chuzo, Anhui Province, a city previously rumored to be home to the Fireflies factory. The subsidiary called Chuzo, Auto Parts Company Limited, was formally imported, incorporated on December 21st with registered capital of RMB 500 million, according to data provider. So guys, 
you got to give me credit. I did say Firefly will be in the first half. I didn't be, I didn't even know it was going to be in the first quarter. Woo! I hope you guys are excited as I am. We knew it was coming. See, that's why we've been buying the dips. That's why we've been not just holding with diamond hand, but buying the dips, which is the important part. Not just holding, but buying the dips. That's how you become wealthy in the stock market. When you believe, when you see what the company is doing, you don't have to hope because you see what King William Lee, this great visionary, this like one of my subscribers said, the Steve Jobs of China, what he have seen. This guy is on the level of Jack Ma. Yes, I've said it. I said it and I'm the only YouTuber that said and keeps saying that we're going to dominate the landscape, not just be one of the leaders, not just be one of the companies that survive, but dominate the landscape. I'm still the only YouTuber saying that and we're going to be a behemoth. I was the first YouTuber to use that word and say that. So I hope you guys find this video inspirational, motivational and informative most of all. If so guys, don't forget to hit that thumbs up to bring more awareness to Neo and my channel. If you haven't yet subscribed and share this guys on your social media platform, please. If you haven't yet subscribed, you might wanna think about doing so because in this channel we have that warrior mindset. Like 50 said, we get rich or we die trying guys.